Growing up as a kid who always played with fun ha spook houses in my garage and read Famous Monsters magazine and then became an artist, things started connecting. And when I was offered a contract with the circus, I took them up on it, said goodbye to art school, and toured for four seasons as a, as a performer with The Greatest Show on Earth. Really immersed myself into every facet of makeup that I could think of, gluing hair on bald caps to make wigs. I went to a wig maker that had to have a, a clown wig made. I saw how they sewed the wigs together. I saw how they hand tied the hair on the wigs. So it all kind of went together. Once I got the performing aspect out of my system after four years, I decided I really wanted to come out to Hollywood and get into the makeup industry. Slowly made connections, cut my teeth, got better at what I did, opened up a small makeup studio of my own, ran that for about a year, did age makeups for movies, horror makeups for movies. Eventually a phone rang and I was offered a job at NBC to get in the union, do television makeup and run their makeup lab. Slowly I, I got in, became a journeyman in the makeup union, and really became active in, in big films. And it just seemed like every time I turned around I was on a big show. Beetlejuice was a really fun, fun show. One, it was one of Tim Burton's early projects. It's all these bizarre characters that are very strong colors and we need to speed things along and make something more out of, out of this world. And so we, we started doing tests on Michael and V tried different things and I made a couple of different teeth for him and then I had some stock prosthetics of like broken nose pieces and stuff. So we just started putting together this makeup and went through several testing days until Tim really saw what he wanted. And when you brought in all these great characters, Catherine O'Hara, Jeffrey Jones, Winona Ryder was one of the first things. I think that was the first time Winona's hair was dyed black and had the kind of goth look that she, that was really popular at the time. So there's a lot of trends that were kind of set by the look of that film. The whole movie came together so great and it, broke ground as such an out there avant-garde film. So it was nice to have been on board and helped develop a character that is on a long, a long line. <laughs>